Today we are wall mounting an air compressor. No, not this one. We are mounting this one. We're reviewing the Craftsman half gallon wall mounted air compressor. For those of you that might be new to woodworking, Craftsman's been a cornerstone for woodworking tools since 1927. They built their reputation on reliable tools without breaking the bank. I've used Craftsman tools many times in the past, but this is the first time I've seen something like this and I think it's really, really cool. This wall mounted air compressor was sent to me by the friends over at Alton Industries. I'd like to thank them for uh, sending me this tool to, to test it out. And uh, just so you know, this is a sponsored video. Uh, it is a half gallon uh, compressor, it's wall mounted, it's very portable. Weighing less than 21 pounds, it makes it very easy to carry around than the standard uh, pancake uh, compressor. One of the things I do like is the fact that it's got a built-in retractable air hose, and it's powered by what I'm surprised by, a one and a half horsepower motor, where my pancake compressor, this guy here, is not even one horsepower. To get a closer look at it, uh, we got the power button here. Here's the, the pressure for the tank. It comes with a, its own uh, regulator here that you attach to here before you attach it to your other, other tools that you're gonna use it with. I guess if you were just blowing down, I guess you don't really need to have this, but for your nailers and stuff, you would need to have this. That is a, an onboard storage for some accessories. Drain, drain valve is over on this side. I think that's basically it in terms of the features that it has, but I mean, it's, it's an air compressor, but again, Compact, doesn't take up much space in the, in the shop. Uh, very portable. It's got a handle on the side for, for carrying. Came with the, the bracket, I put a, I built a little really quick a French cape for it. I put these two screws up in here to keep it from, in case I do, like if it gets stuck as I'm trying to take it off, it's not gonna fall out. So, but it's still not screwed in so I can move this around as well. So I think we're ready to turn it on and see how long it's going to take for it to pressurize. Is that zero right now? Let's flip it on and see how long it takes. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> it got up to 120 PSI in what was that, 10, 12 seconds? That's, that's crazy. That, it takes, it takes mine, as, well, it goes to 175 PSI, takes a hell of a lot longer, and that was not as loud as a normal uh, pancake one. Well, let's, uh, let's pull it out and see how far, how far it goes when we pull it outside. Okay, that's 30 feet of hose. It got all the way, I mean, these two cars aren't even uh, all the way up in the driveway. But for, for this one, I could, I could fill up the air in all four tires without even having to move the car. The truck would have to be up just a little bit more just to get there, but this is 30 feet of hose. That's pretty impressive. It does say in the instruction manual that you should pull the hose out before you pressurize it. So that's one of the, the main mistakes I just did. Uh, based on the instructions, I mean, it didn't blow up or anything like that, but I guess it's better for it to be pull the hose out, use grab the hose that you need, give it a little extra, then turn it on. It'll pressurize in 10 seconds, as we just saw. That's pretty impressive. I am like pretty, pretty blown away by that. So to put the hose away, we just uh, give it a little pull and just let it feed back in. Probably gonna say we probably should have done the exact same thing. We probably should have unpressurized the hose before we did this. There, it's all the way back in. So my personal opinion on this Craftsman wall mounted air compressor, I am I'm very happy with what it does. It's a small, portable, lightweight air compressor that will get the job done for small projects like trim work and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's basically this tool is designed to inflate tires, inflate pool toys, be a, a nailer, be a blower and stuff like that for the shop. It wasn't designed to be a paint sprayer. It's not gonna do that. It was designed to be for small projects and stuff. 
but because it's such a small footprint in the shop, it's, it's kind of worth the half if you need to, to do those kind of things. Especially like if you want to just take it off the wall and bring it in. Like I've, I've done like work around the house and lug it around to the six, the six gallon air compressor is a pain. In the it's a pain in the butt to drag around the, the air compressor, the six gallon air compressor where this, oh, the hose is already wrapped up. Um, <laughs> they got the handle, the cords right here and it's got the suction cups. I don't know if I, I probably didn't show the suction cups. So you can lay it flat on the ground. It works this way on the ground, laying it flat like that. And, and being able to do trim work around the house, perfect for that kind of stuff. I think it's a useful tool to have. And like, again, I'd like to thank Alton Industries for sending this to me. I'll leave a link down below in the, the description. Uh, if you uh, can give it a thumbs up, uh, if you have any comments, let me know. Uh, if you can subscribe and uh, share the video, that'd be awesome. Uh, thanks again, Jim from the Woodworking Corner. See you in the next one. It won't replace your shop vac, but as an addition to having the shop, it's great when you want to do something fast and you just don't want to wait for a shop back to pressurize like the shop. I keep on, why do I keep on the shop back? Compressor.